in this video i'm going to teach you how to draw a nice clean line art from a photo using just your computer mouse step by step in adobe illustrator cc so without further ado let's dive into it launch illustrator and create a new file by clicking on create new you can choose a recent preset or go to art and illustration menu here and choose this canvas 920 by 1080p select pixels for this you will leave the orientation at landscape choose high resolution that is uh, 300 pixels per inch leave the preview mode at default and click on create and this is how the artboard will look like now go to file and click on open then select your desired photo click on open resize the photo to make it fit into the artboard select the photo and hover around the edges of the photo until you see this double edged arrow then you hold down shift and drag it out like this awesome press down arrow key on the keyboard to drag it down reduce the opacity a little bit so you will be able to see your lines properly while drawing now let's create a custom brush to draw with right click on this tools panel and select line segment tool Hold down shift and draw a horizontal line. Bring the stroke tool on top. Increase the stroke weight to 2 or 3 points. Go to variable width profile and select width profile 1. Then go to brush definition and click on new brush. Then the brush options menu will pop up. And just make sure it's stretched to fit stroke length. It's checked and click OK. Right click on this tools panel and select the pen brush tool and try drawing to see how your strokes look. Awesome. Okay, let's select all of them and delete them since we don't need them anymore. Now it's time to draw. Starting out with the eyes, let's draw. All you have to do is uh, trace the stuff areas. These are the parts that are going to bring out the shape. We will draw on the left eye the same way. With direct selection tool, click on your strokes and their anchor points will pop up. And with anchor points, I mean these little white squares. So click on them and drag them around so you can adjust your lines as you wish. We will continue to draw the shape of the eyeball. The same on the left. Let's see how it looks. It's coming, it's coming. So flip the black color to the fill tool. And select the pencil tool to draw this dark area.
let's see how it looks that's good moving on to the next eye we do the same let's see awesome moving on to draw the shape of the nose let's draw this is really simple guys we draw the shape of the ear just tracing the edges and the shape will come automatically like this Let's see. Nice. We'll do the same on this side. Let's draw. I know sometimes your hand can be a little bit shaky, but you'll get used to drawing the mouse after a little bit of practice. Let's see how it looks. Awesome. This is good. We move to draw the lips. Let's draw. Let's draw the tip. This is good. Let's see. Okay, it's coming. And again, use the direct selection tool to click on the white anchor points and use the handles to drag around and adjust the shape of your strokes. Like this. Let's continue drawing other parts. This is awesome. Flip the black color back to the fill tool and lock the stroke tool. Select the pencil tool to draw these dark areas under the teeth. Like this. draw the same on this side let's see how it looks that's good again we are going to use uh, we are going to use the anchor points to drag around and adjust the shape as we want Let's see. That's good. Let's draw the shape of the head. Again, flip the black color to the fill tool. Choose the color for the brown hair. I mean dark brown. And click on OK. Then with the pencil tool selected, let's draw the hair.
Sometimes unnecessary circles pop up after drawing shapes with pencil tool. So click on these anchor points along the path and remove them one by one using the delete anchor point tool. Let's see how it looks. Continue to draw the beards. Select the pencil tool and draw. And we are done. I hope you learned something today. And if you had any difficulties while drawing, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to our channel so far, please do so you'll be notified on any new video upload. Now you can go ahead and click or tap the screen to check out the next video on how I'm going to color this line art we just drew. Until next time, peace.